Here's how to set up Google Calendar appointment slots. First, we're going to open the calendar. You do this by selecting the waffle, scrolling down to Google Calendar, and then clicking it. Next, we're going to change view and select the day. So take a look here and select day. That way, we're only looking at the one day we want to schedule appointments for. Then, look at the calendar on the left-hand side and change it so that it shows December 2nd. That's the day we need to schedule our appointment slots for. Our first set of appointment slots are from 12 to 3 o'clock. So click as close as you can to the 12 o'clock line. Then click Appointment Slots. We're going to give this appointment slot a title, Parent Teacher Conferences, and then I'm going to ask the parents to insert their child's name here in the title. Then change it to make sure that it's going from 12 o'clock until 3 o'clock. We're going to be setting up several appointments in that time and date range. And then finally, we're making our slot duration 10 minutes. That way, parents only have a choice of a 10-minute conference with you. After you've done that, click More Options. Then, we're going to add a location, just so the parents know that it is a virtual conference. And then, in the description of the conference section, I recommend maybe putting a note in there that it is only a 10-minute conference time, and that they should not go above that time limit. Once you've done all that, click Save. Once you do that, you'll see that chunk of time has been blocked off your calendar. We'll look more closely at how a parent would actually book an appointment in just a few minutes. We actually have to create a second series of slots from 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock. So do the exact same thing we did in the beginning of this presentation, but change the times to represent from 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock p.m. Make sure you're still doing 10-minute time increments, and also complete the More Options section with the same information. When you're finished, you'll see two separate time bands that have been designated for appointment slots. Next, we're going to take a look at the actual appointment page. This is the page that the parents will see when they're booking appointments. Click on one of the appointment time spans you've designated, and then click Go to Appointment Page for this calendar. You might not see anything when you first get to the appointment page, but that's because the calendar takes you to the current date. So just change the date for December 2nd, and you'll see all of the appointment slots that you created. Each of these links is clickable, so that a parent can click on it and select an appointment slot. We'll talk more about that later. In order to share this appointment page, you have to copy the URL at the top of the page. I do that by selecting it and doing Control c Once you've done that, compose your email to the parents that you'd like to select an appointment slot. This can also be one email to an entire group of parents that you'd like to pick slots, because once an appointment slot is filled, it is closed out of your calendar and no one else can select that slot. After you've composed your email, paste the URL that links to your appointment calendar. I usually use Control V for paste. If you select your link and then click the link button at the bottom of the screen, it'll create an immediate hyperlink so that parents can click on it and it'll take them directly to your appointment calendar. Now let's take a look at how to book the appointment. So when someone receives your booking appointment calendar, they're going to see all of these gray boxes, each of which is a clickable link. When they click the link, it'll show them the time slot that they've selected. They can change and add their child's name in the What section. The rest of it is auto-filled because you added that in the More Options section. And then they click Save. Once they've saved the appointment, it creates a calendar entry. If they have Google Calendar, it'll go in their Google Calendar. If they don't, it will still send them an email reminding them that they have an appointment on that day. They're going to join the Google Meet by clicking Join with Google Meet, either in the email that they get or on their Google Calendar. What it looks like in your calendar is a strip shows up within the two time spans that you designated. If you click on it, you'll see that you have a Google Meeting Clicking this link will start the Google Meet, and you can meet with the parent. That's really all there is to setting up appointment slots. If you have any questions, let me know. Good luck!